Okay, there's another way to solve this same problem, which I think is instructive, and um, because it allows us to use the Lorenz transforms, which we've which we're now familiar with. Uh, I think in the long run the math is a little bit more cumbersome, but I think it's worth going through, and for completeness I will. So basically, if we start with the same situation, so there's a, a particle moving to the right with mass m, velocity v, another particle with the same mass at rest and they stick together and you get a clump with m, mass m prime moving at v prime. So if we write the um, initial form momentum, okay, and this time I'm going to write it basically in, um, in um, as a column vector, then you get um, e over c and p sub x. Now uh, I'm not going to write the pz in the p py and pz terms because they're zero. And so this uh, is just equal to, as we saw previously, gamma plus one times mc and gamma mv. Okay, now what we do is we apply a Lorentz transform um, and we apply a particular Lorentz transform such that we transform into the frame um, where the clump uh, M prime is at rest. Okay, and since in the after the collision, since that's the only particle, that means that um, if we transform to that frame, then the momentum, the, the total momentum in the um, in the uh, the three momentum, sorry, in the um, the final three momentum is going to be zero. Okay. Um, and in order to do that Lorentz transform, we have to apply, we have to boost to a new frame, which is moving at the at the rate, at the speed that this clump would be moving. So it's moving at at at, um, at v prime. So we want to apply a Lorentz factor. We'll call it gamma zero. Okay which is equal to 1 over 1 minus um, beta 0 squared, where beta 0 is equal to uh, v prime over c. Okay, so let's just apply the Lorentz transform, and again I'm only going to use the top the top quadrant of the um, of the Lorentz transform matrix because the other elements are 0 in this case, and so we're going to have um, Remember the Lorentz transform matrix is gamma and then minus, sorry, uh, beta zero, in this case beta zero gamma zero, and then minus beta zero gamma zero, and gamma. You remember how it has that nice symmetric form. We apply that to our um, our matrix, our uh, initial form momentum. Okay, and this will give you, um, uh, let's just do the multiplication, uh, mc minus beta 0, gamma 0, gamma mv, and then the second one is uh, minus, sorry, minus beta 0, gamma zero times gamma plus one times mc plus gamma zero gamma mv. Okay, and this whole thing is a new um, for, for momentum in which the um, the total energy is m prime c, okay, because uh, and its rest frame, that has to be its, uh, gamma is one, so that has to be its total um, energy. Remember the, uh, um, the total energy is gamma times mc, but since gamma is one in this case, since we're in the rest frame, and since we're in the rest frame, it has no um, three momentum, okay? Now what we can do is we can just uh, solve these two equations um, and get out the velocity and the mass.